Welcome back to Storytime with Britt. Today I have another story that has a very awesome character in it. His name is Corduroy. Have you ever heard of Corduroy? And also, what is a character? What do I mean when I say a character? A character can be an animal or a person that is in a story. So in this story today, Corduroy is one of our characters. It's also the title of our story today, Corduroy. The author is Don Freeman. Are you ready to get started? Corduroy. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. So there's our character, Corduroy. You see him right there in the middle? The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. So now we have a couple more characters. We have the little girl and her mother as well. They are also people or animals or things in the story. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go see if I can find it. So they decided to leave because he was missing a button. So he's gonna go look for his button. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and he began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. So it's late at night, the mall is closed, and he's looking for his button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Have you ever been on an escalator? Kind of strange. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He's going up the escalator. They move up and down, if you've ever been on one. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds this must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. So he's in a department store that looks like it has a bunch of furniture. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. So if you look at the mattresses in your house, underneath the sheets, sometimes they do have little buttons on them. So Corduroy thinks that it's the button from his overalls. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button. And off the mattress, Corduroy toppled, bang into a tall floor lamp. Over, it fell with a crash. So he got the button off, but he fell too. And so did the lamp. There he went flying with the button and the lamp. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. We have another character. We have another person in the story. So the night watchman is a character in our story. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? He found Corduroy. 
the watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. So she came back for him. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down and Corduroy was on her lap. She began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. So they're in her room and then she is fixing his button. Finally, he gets his button fixed. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and gave him a big hug. The end. So who were the characters in our story? We had Corduroy, we had Lisa, her mother, the watchman, and the sales lady. Those were the people or animals in our story. So they were the characters. I hope you enjoyed that story. Subscribe and come back and see me very soon. Bye friends.